Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down a train of storms that will be impacting the United States over the weekend and into early next week. This will bring all modes of severe weather including damaging winds, large hail and perhaps even a few tornadoes. I'll give you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today and we'll first begin with the East Coast and this is all from the remnants of the severe weather that we saw yesterday and obviously as you know if you watched my weather forecast yesterday we were mentioning that that tornado risk could have been big or it might have been almost nothing and nothing actually ended up happening which is great news overall though the threat of severe weather has now moved to the east and it is still producing a little bit of isolated damaging winds as it exits the coast with a very low end tornado risk through the early to mid afternoon hours if you look back up into Canada this is actually all kind of coming from this low pressure system that's sitting in southeast Canada so I just want to kind of point out that feature to you now back over to the west this is where our train of storms will originate from our first area of storms will begin today in parts of the northern plains by tomorrow there will be a threat of severe weather in parts of the midwest and eventually going into saturday sunday and monday we're gonna be watching for more severe weather across parts of the ohio valley and eventually back into parts of the midwest so it's gonna be a very active next five days and we're gonna be breaking down every single day for you as it will be a very active weather pattern here across the united states but let's talk more about that weather pattern in depth beginning with the jet stream the jet stream really helps to control a lot of these weather pattern ends and the jet stream over the next several days will be very interesting so as of right now the jet stream is located up here it's basically back up in Canada we do have a low pressure system that is sitting again back kind of north of Montana this will be our next area of storms for today and tomorrow that will bring a risk of severe weather and even into Saturday as well and also back over north of Michigan we have another low pressure system that's sitting there this is what just brought that severe weather or is currently bringing severe weather at least to the east coast that'll continue to move to the east over the next several days notice as we go into the weekend we'll have a trough ejection back up in the northern United States and a strong upper level winds will help to create some longevity with any supercells that end up developing so this will definitely be something to watch out for is a strong pocket of upper level winds from the northwesterly winds here eventually going into late Saturday Sunday into Monday notice that moves out to the east that's your low pressure system that'll bring that severe weather to the midwest over the next couple of days but then the next low pressure system will come out of areas and again Canada pretty much the same exact spot strong upper level winds again will promote the threat for more severe weather as we go into the late weekend and into early next week and this will also impact the midwest this one could be more concerning though because of those strong upper level winds and as well as low level winds being stronger that could also increase the risk for severe weather we could be talking maybe about a small scale severe weather outbreak sometime either late next or this weekend into potentially early next week so sunday or monday those are the two days that i'm really more concerned about with this system and as we go into later next week so by wednesday we'll be watching for more of these low pressure systems to drop out of Canada that could promote more of a threat of severe weather as we go throughout the mid to late week but again things do become a bit more uncertain as we get closer to then so stay tuned we'll keep you posted with the latest details we have more certainty of what's going to be happening though over the next five days now in terms of the low level jet this will help rotate supercells at the lower levels notice going into this weekend there will be a low level jet there across parts of the midwest so I'll be watching for maybe a couple of isolated tornadoes across parts of the midwest going into tomorrow and then once we go through the weekend that moves off to the east notice by next week again this is by monday low level jet will start to intensify and be, depending on where the strongest low level winds are that will kind of determine where there is a tornado risk as we go into perhaps maybe monday or even tuesday as this moves off to the east so we'll be watching that closely and eventually going to late next week again things become more uncertain but we might have a strong low pressure system by the later end of next week but that might stay a little bit off to the north of the united states so we'll be watching those details again very closely for you now let's talk more about the severe weather potential for the next several days and we'll begin with today and the main concern here for the next several hours going through the late afternoon and evening hours will be the system that's going to be back up in the northern plains which by the way it's a very odd shaped marginal risk of severe weather but the main concern today will be in the slight risk that's going to include south dakota nebraska and southwest minnesota main concerns for today is damaging winds and some large hail it's nothing out of the ordinary today it's not a severe weather outbreak it's nothing to panic about but there will be a chance for an isolated tornado so if you're anywhere in that green shaded region back up here in parts of the northern or central plains have a tornado action plan in place just in case again there's no reason to panic today this is not a severe weather outbreak by any means but there will be some storm activity up there with some potential for isolated severe weather this by four o'clock this afternoon storms will be firing up across parts of north and south dakota by five to six o'clock these storms move off to the east Boeing line of storms most likely this will likely produce some scattered damaging winds as it moves into minnesota by the evening hours those storms move off to the east and there's more of a conditional risk of severe weather down here it depends on if any storms actually fire up it's gonna be kind of a 50 50 
50-50 here, kind of like yesterday with that tornado risk. Storms didn't fire up, so this will be kind of similar. It's a 50-50 chance we actually see storms firing up here, but if they do, damaging winds, large hail, perhaps a brief tornado going to be possible in those areas, and eventually going to the overnight hours, that area of storms moves off to the east. And that'll lead into our next threat of severe weather, which is quite interesting, by the way, as we go into Flying Fences Friday. As of right now, there is a slight risk of severe weather, and it does include Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, eastern Iowa, and northeast Missouri. There's also a large marginal risk of severe weather that goes from Michigan back into Minnesota and as far south as Kansas. And also notice there's another small marginal threat back down the southeast United States for some isolated damaging winds. But our bigger concern will be across parts of the Midwest because we are watching for some damaging winds. This will be a scattered threat up to about 70 miles per hour. So make sure you're prepared for damaging winds tomorrow. Again, not everybody will see severe weather, but those that do, it could be a little bit significant. Large hail concern right now is across mainly that yellow shaded region. Again, it's the same area that we have the slight risk. There is a chance for hail up to about two inches in diameter. If we get any discrete supercells, I wouldn't rule out slightly higher than that. So maybe up to 10 small size tail out of the most significant storms. And then the tornado risk for tomorrow, as of now, is a very low chance. There is a chance that this does get upgraded to a 5%, maybe in parts of eastern Iowa. And the main reason why is because we might have a couple of discrete supercells out there, and those discrete cells can sometimes increase that tornado risk, especially since we have a, at least a medium low level jet. So it's strong enough at least for a couple tornadoes. But here's what we're looking at in terms of timing for tomorrow. It's going to be interesting. It feels very similar to what we saw yesterday, though, because we're going to have early morning convection. Look at this. This is right around 6, 7 in the morning. There will be showers and storms out there. Those will likely not be severe. They might produce some gusty wind, small hail. But this will move off to the east, producing some rainfall. That will start to stabilize the atmosphere a little bit. By lunchtime, that all moves out. If we don't have a whole lot of convection by this time, we should have enough instability in the atmosphere by the afternoon for some storms to fire off. So this is right around 6 o'clock in the evening. Notice the area of storms that we're watching for. There's a chance for maybe a couple of discrete cells. Again, that would be where the greatest tornado risk would come out of, which again, we're not looking at a tornado outbreak. It would be a very low chance overall of any tornado activity, but that would be where we'd see the best chance for an isolated tornado would be out of one of those discrete cells. By 7 to 8 o'clock, these storms move through Wisconsin, mainly damaging winds by this point. Upper level winds will be steering these storms this way, so that will be mainly be damaging winds overall. And notice again, a couple different areas of storms that we'll be watching for. Scattered damaging winds, large hail being the main concerns. But right about 10 or 11 o'clock tomorrow night, all this storm activity is moving toward the Chicago Metro and as well as near Milwaukee. None of the storm activity by this point will likely be that severe, but if they are still severe, isolated damaging winds are the main concern. And eventually in the overnight hours, some storm activity back over Michigan. Again, there might be some isolated damaging winds, but we're not looking at anything too far beyond that. And then by tomorrow or going to Saturday morning, overall that activity does start to kind of fizzle out. And then once we go into Saturday, there is another risk of severe weather across the Ohio Valley. We'll talk about more details on this in our next forecast. And then going into Sunday, there's another slight risk of severe weather for parts of the western midwest and as well as the central plains again we'll talk about more on this in our next forecast and then going into monday there's another slight risk of severe weather it's slight risk mania right now i'll have another one back over in parts of the ohio valley again a lot of talk about in our next forecast with those events and again we'll have more on details on that in our next forecast thank you so much for watching make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already